Floating Solar offers obviously a different solution to ground mount or roof mount. Um, often there's not a suitable rooftop or suitable ground or sufficient ground in our agricultural sector or in the mining sector um, where you can actually now float a, a solar plant onto a water body. So you're generating electricity whilst covering your water, so saving on evaporation, um, as well as cooling the panels down, which is, you know, essentially generates more electricity through the, the panels. I think it's a very exciting topic in the Western Cape. Um, in the chats that we've had with a lot of the farmers, they all mirror the same message, and that is they're losing two and a half meters of water a year to evaporation. So there's the cost of water, but there's also the opportunity cost in not having water. When you look at our sort of dense agricultural areas, you have a lot of citrus or, or grapes, you have pack houses and you have irrigation, but you don't necessarily have the space to be able to put ground mount solar um, and you don't necessarily have the roof space to produce sufficient um, uh, energy. So looking at a irrigation dam, you've got plenty of space, of unused space that can be utilized for floating solar. So this floating solar system is feeding the pump uh, station over there um, that pumps the water. So we're using renewable energy to pump the systems and that is what we're hoping to do not only on the buildings that we own but within the facilities like wastewater treatment works etc. Um, this is part of the broader objective to diversify our supply and to innovate around our supply. So we're hoping to build our own solar plants. Um, we are doing an environmental impact assessment for one plant out in Atlantis and then we have are looking at other land uh, options but obviously um, we want to do what is most efficient within the city and looking at um, killing two birds with one stone so um, meeting the water resource uh, issues that we face in in Cape Town as well as our sustainable energy issues um, is a great opportunity and this is why we are here today. The primary objective of this pilot is to test the, or to quantify the evaporation savings of a floating solar plant. The secondary objective is to measure the increased efficiency that the cooling of the water has on the panels. So a ground mount system will run at a much higher temperature and a lower efficiency, whereas a, something cooled by water like this will be essentially generating more electricity.